Oh, season's greetings. I didn't see you come in. I was just reading up on how to speak German. Auf Wiedersehen. Would you care for some freshly baked cookies? Or how about some of my world famous panic attack eggnog? Mmm, mixed to perfection. I wasn't really planning on opening any presents on Christmas Eve, but since you're here, I could spare one. Ah, The Grinch for the PS1. A classic video game from my childhood. It's getting late, so let's pop this in. Without further ado, I bring you The Grinch video game. I really like the title screen for this one, especially that it's a PlayStation 1 game. I always was fascinated by the little small town down there, but now it's just a bunch of pixelated nonsense. What I'd first like to bring to the table is that I really do like the voice acting in this game. Even though the Grinch seems to have two voices for some reason. One of the voices sounds like a Green Day or a Blink-182 lead singer. And the other one actually does sound like what the Grinch is supposed to sound like, so... I'll give it an A-plus for voice acting. Give them both a listen. Darn! I forgot my keys. There should be a spare one in one of these boxes. There is no consistency in that area. But that's why I like the voice acting the most, to be honest. Uh, I always hated this tutorial. It took way too long. I'm just gonna skip it for you guys. Alright. I forgot you can't skip it. That's why I remember it. I hate Christmas! This part of the game is kind of ridiculous. He just yelling Christmas. about how he hates Christmas. It's kind of a double standard, don't you think? Could you imagine if he was yelling that shit about Hanukkah? I hate Hanukkah! I hate Jews! Yeah, I guess the Grinch doesn't come off as good that way. A really cool element to this game is that you're able to use the dog, Max, whenever you want. He doesn't attack or anything, but he can go places where people would usually attack the Grinch if the Grinch went. If memory serves, you get different upgraded weapons, like the Egg Shooter and the Grinch Copter or something on the lines of that. Most of the game is you trying to get those items back because the Grinch mistakenly let them all blow away out the door. No! My plans! My precious plans! Oh, you never be able to fill my magic! What's stopping the Grinch from grabbing the blueprints that are still blowing away? It'll be a lot less work for him to go around grabbing all the blueprints instead of just some of them. Look, they're still blowing away beside him. He's like self-sabotaging. I'll recover my plans piece by piece. You could start by grabbing the ones blowing right next to you. The Grinch has invented a vast vacuum system. Through its miles of tubes, he can get to the Who's who he feels have so dissed him. Dissed him? They haven't said anything about him. If anything, he's the one shouting out how much he hates their species and way of life. What a self-righteous dick. Who grown-ups and children alike fear the Grinch, but they hope that through hugs he may change just an inch. These rhyming and cutscenes are starting to really get annoying, though. That's the one thing I could do without in this game. The rhyming and the cutscenes. The mission book oh, all right, all right, it's a fucking box. Yes. What else are you gonna you tell me about it? Anyone knows there's nothing that he's missed. Yeah, I guess I didn't miss the fact that there's a fucking president in front of me. Uh, the Grinch just discovered a small rotten egg. Okay, it even as a kid, I knew that thing was in a fucking rotten egg. egg. It's the growing out of the ground. It's like a potato or something. Tool. You plop it in Grinch gadgets to give them more fuel. Okay. Is that everything? You sure? You sure you don't want to tell me how that fucking Christmas tree has snow on it? Another one! Hey! Who are you? Big Daddy? Big Daddy? Why is he calling me Big Daddy? Would the Grinch fuck every girl in Whoville? Hold on, I need another listen to that. This can't be right. I'm gonna turn down the volume of the music, just so we can hear what the fuck this kid says. Hi! Who are you, Big Daddy? Oh, Big T. 
teddy. Like a teddy bear. Well, if this is what bears look like, why are you running up and hugging him? Even in my reality, bears are big and scary. Not green or anything like that, but they're big and scary. You should probably not run up and hug them. Oh the no. The tiptoeing Grinch is a master of stealth. If slyness were riches, he'd own a vast wealth. Okay, this one was kind of useful, but they could have put it in the fucking long-ass tutorial to begin with. Also, this is hardly a fucking stealth game. I mean, it could be if the Grinch wasn't the only fucking green thing in town that's walking around on two feet. Oh look, he heard me open the door anyway. And what's up with the way the Grinch opens the door? He did it with his feet. Take a look at that again. It's not just because he's sneaking, that's just how he opens the door. I guess this is the room that the Grinch keeps his cloak? This was never in the movie. Max got him the cloak. Now that you got the cloak, you can sneak into the post office and shuffle up the mail. I'm gonna go do that right now. Surprisingly, it's more complicated than that. You actually have to go to different colored doors and find switches to open up the door and then go inside as the Grinch. But you don't know that right away, so... You spend 30 minutes in here. You're supposed to use a dog to go through these little air vents. Keep getting caught and thrown out. Go, Personally, this is my favorite part of this level. Going through the doors as the dog. Trying to unlock the switch for this jerk off. Shit, I'm in front of the wrong door! I'm not even gonna try to make it. You end up having to shuffle mail in four different rooms where the vents are in different places. So you gotta set up the Grinch to stand there and then have the dog press the button. Just a minute, dear. I've gotta finish this and I'll be right with you. I feel bad for every child in Whoville that has to deal with these parents. Oh, here they go, trying to replicate a scene that hasn't happened in a movie that hasn't come out yet. How creative. Who... who are you? Well, you're the... 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 the Grinch! Jim Carrey does it better. Look at the way he runs out of there. I know you guys are gonna get a kick out of this one. The Grinch's ass shows up when he ground pounds on the ground. That's fucking golden. Oh god, here we go, this part. I always remember this part from when I was a kid. I always remember it being hard. <sighs> yeah, playing it again, now I know it's fucking hard. Come on. No, come on. No. It 
it's Christmas Eve. I gotta be a good boy. I gotta be a good boy so I get Christmas presents. I gotta be a good boy. If I'm not a good boy, Santa won't get me any presents. Just for this night, I'll be a good boy. Well, I guess that concludes my Christmas Eve special. We all better scurry off to bed, because we all know we have that desirable thing that we want to open in the morning. Like The Last Guardian for Xbox One which I would like for Christmas Santa Claus, since I've been a good boy all year. And I'm sure you guys would like something too. So make sure you leave out a fresh plate of cookies and some nice panic attack eggnog. Mmm. Mixed to perfection.